getting on home and, and spending time with the family at five o'clock or so every day is enough time before my kids go to bed to usually go and do something fun. You know, a couple times a week, we'll go and do some ice hockey with my son. Daddy, hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. How's it going? You guys ready for hockey tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Cormac, can you help me with any of these? I need some help, big guy. Help guys. We're just supposed to drive. We started Cormac out when he was, how old were you when you first started skating? Two. Two. I think we got him on his first set of skates pretty quickly after he uh, learned how to walk. But now how old are you? Four. He's four, and that's kind of when kids can start skating uh, with, with a group and doing actual hockey stuff. Good. Come around. All the way around. And when you get it, take a shot. Oh my goodness, you shot all the way down the ice. Holy cow. I guess I started skating when I was five. And um, growing up in Alaska, it was kind of the thing to do. And I've continued to play even as a doctor. Some of the guys that came out today are guys that, I, uh, that I've met with my unit that also play hockey. And it continues to be a big part of my life and something that's really important to me. It's a misconception if people think that being an army doctor is gonna to be too busy to have a life outside of work. Uh, as this guy can attest, there's times where it's busy and there's times where it's hard to make it happen, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's part of the lifestyle of being an army doctor that you get time with your family.